Hello and welcome back to Argos, a random game on Steam. I am Time Traveller and we're back here at the Randomizer to see what we're playing this week. And this week we are playing Valley 2, a Valley... I can't read that subtitle, we'll find out once we get into the game. And this is... Valley 2, a valley without wind number 2. Uh, I have not played the first one, I have not played the second one. But we're gonna find out what we're called, what we're doing. So this new world can be called uh Argosopia Ville. Okay, we've got Adolf Ostrovsky, Farah Slyfield, Umiki Akira, and Marcus Kistivin. Oh, okay, I get to pick one. Uh, let's let's be the 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 strong attacker. Okay. Uh, well, this is automatically getting more complicated. Uh, it can be an ice draw, a uh, sleet lock, a stone bender, a draft lock, a lumbermancer, or an apothecaneticist. Uh, let's be a, a draft lock. I see that Fanzara has trained you well. Lilith approves as well. You are ready to become the sixth member of my inner circle. Thank you, Dark One. You have shown yourself willing to punish the unworthy without remorse. There are few enough like you to follow me. I therefore entrust you with this oblivion crystal. It will protect you from death as it protects myself and the rest of my closest followers. It is a tremendous power to wield. Yes, but you of all people should know that there are things worse than death. Whoop! Oh, okay. ASDF or abilities. Oh, it's... There's no mouse, it's keyboard only. Okay. So... So... A fires a, a little lightning bolt. S fires a, a double lightning bolt. D... D does something. Uh, and F costs 10 and I only have 10 ammo, so... Here lies the orc... Mokaluka Fukalalaka Who <laughs> did learn how to climb down ladders by pressing the down key. Well, that's not really climbing down a ladder, that's like falling. Look at all this wreckage. The walls are blown out and the monsters seem to have disappeared. That's actually a good sign. Looks like my allies in the resistance attacked this tower as soon as they saw I had the crystal. They're probably waiting for me below. Okay. Let's break through here. Okay, so I can hold down the attack button. Because that doesn't use ammo and start attacking things. Okay, let's not get hit by the swirly blades. Whoa! What was that? Did I get hurt? I don't know. Hello, fellow human. All this trouble and toil for all of us. So many sacrifices and you pulled it off. Oh, don't shoot him. So these are all resistance members. Xena. Ah, good to know we've got Xena on our side. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! Oh. No full damage. Okay, that's that's useful to know. Okay, let's try it our big attack, because we can get ammo from here. Okay, so we can do that once. When we're in a particularly bad situation. And there's another door. Ah, I have to turn back for now. Note, you must be level 3 to proceed through here. What an odd thing to say. 
Interesting, so it's kind of like a, a strategy game and a platformer in one. That's, that's an interesting mix. Press E on a yellow NPC. Oh, okay. So, you move to here. And you, Bennett, move to the farmland. So the dark tiles are corrupted and only I can purify them. This is interesting. I, I, I like this idea of uh, exploring, like doing the, the manual exploration and um, freeing of areas. It's a recruitable survivor in here. Let's, uh, 75% danger for me. Like this one, hundred percent danger. Okay, let's let's go in here and find ourselves a survivor. Okay, so here we have to get close to. Oh, already, already taking damage. can't stand in there, I've just got to jump into the thing. Whoa! Hello! It's interesting. I I don't want to get close to these guys, but this, this world means I have to. So I can open this chest and get plus 10 humiliating flip-flops of bad eyesight. Does it automatically equip? 30% secondary attack strength. 15% projectile lifetime. Mm, I don't I don't think I want that. But the jewel encrusted camisole of extra shots. Yeah, I, I want that. I, I feel way more powerful now I can shoot out so many things. Maybe I can finally find out what this D move does. Okay, it actually does damage? Whoa! That did a lot of damage. At last, the foul windstorm generator is corrupting the area. Destroying this will allow me to progress further into the world, as well as ending my current strategic turn. Alright, let's, let's destroy it. Boom! So we can see what happened here during the turn. Demonica emerges from his lair in 12 turns. Ooh, spooky. Okay, so you build a clinic. Okay. Um, I, did I did I have to find NPC? Oh, I've got to move someone here. Okay. So you, Zena, you can come here and you can recruit someone. And if we go into here, you can find another survivor. Ooh, it's night time. The neighborhoods here have been bustling before the great shattering occurred. Oh, I can destroy. Oops, I just wasted my ammo. Ah! I do know that. Oh, ouch. Ah, oh, that's what hit me last time. There's like thorns on the ground. Storm dash ability. Nah. I think I've picked up a really good ability, like, right from the get-go. I, I don't see me sw switching anytime soon, just because it's so good. So there's, like, little capsules. So is this like a, whoa, like a post-apocalyptic world? With, after the, the demons attacked, and that's why there's, like, still technology and stuff around in cities. Despite, kind of, the... The fantasy feel. I I always like um, settings that that combine two two seemingly unrelated things like like advanced technology and uh, magic things like that because it's it's oh exploded 
It's uh, it's it's interesting. So I'm wondering if the each level that you play is just go. You start on the left. You've got to go all the way to the right. Or whether some of them you have to go up, or some of them you have to go down, or some of you have to start on the the, the right hand side and go to the left, or start in the middle, or start in the outside and go to the middle. There's lots of different ways you can do it. I'm just wondering whether this game, the, the devs in this game thought to do that or not. This is the early levels, but there's not too much of a challenge yet. Um, although that may partially be due to the fact that I've got an awesome equipment at the moment. Killing very squat crocodiles. Get the eel. Eel. Oh, you're feeling a little eel. Oh, that was really easy. Oh, the monsters are pursuing us from the lair. World map monsters. Okay. Can't catch those monsters, but they will hunt us resistance members and destroy useful world map tiles. So the resistance members have to fight them. Okay, now we've got some world monsters on the move. And we've got some wall crocs coming out. Level up here. Okay. Robotic walls. Insanely evil town. But I, w I want to get to the windmill to level up. Alright, let's work our way towards that windmill. And make that our goal for this session. Oh, there's a there's another level up windmill down here. This one's closer. Let's get this one. Because we can get another survivor. Oh, that one explodes and does a whole bunch of like Ow! Everything does area effect damage. Oh, what? My stuff wore off. No! My awesome, cool equipment! It broke! Now I'm not as good! Aha! I've actually got to try now! Uh oh. It suddenly got a whole lot more difficult! The, the control system in this, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to because when you are shooting if you hold down down you just start aiming down instead of crouching down and um... Ow! Instead of crouching down and... let's use our ultimate thing there and um... firing from the ground so it's, it's annoying sometimes trying to aim at things that are low to the ground What is that? Ground shockwaves. Alright. So you hit it and then you jump. Or you know you could just do that and just leave it there. That seems like a smarter idea. I don't think you you don't seem to get XP for killing things. All it does is just put you in more danger and make you lose more health. So I'd say just kill kill what I need to kill for now. Okay, so we've got some monsters emerging. One more turn and we can get to the level up thing. Okay, you and are gonna come here and fight the monster. And you, you're a nine, you can go here and fight that monster. So I take extra damage, but I do extra damage. Yep, let's do it. Look at the moon, it's like broken. What happened to the moon? Maybe the answers are in Valley of the Winds 1. Okay, we now have access to a level up windmill. So let's go here and level up. Wonderful. I love a shrieking windstorm. 
Okay, so there are still things here to kill us. Even though this is a level up area. Whole lot of mines. And here is our level up windmill. So, ah, and there's still, still monsters inside. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is sacred. Oh, that shark, that crocodile is, uh, I suppose that's why it's called a wall croc. Can climb up the walls. Word rack. You say you were a plant. You say you served the resistance. But you passed our character tests with flying colors. Whatever you say, there's something dark lurking inside of you. Do I have to fight Wordrack? Oh, he's got an Oblivion Stone as well. He's got the same powers as me. Bring it on, Wordrack. Whoa! No, he's got backup, that's not fair. Have some of my D. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> okay, so this is the boss, so his spells are more powerful than mine. So my spells can't his spells will knock mine out, but my spells won't ever hurt, uh, break his spells. Oh! He's dead! So, this, this, this level up, oh what, there's another word rack! Or is that the same guy? Oh, it doesn't, oh he's using a different spell. Sneaky. But, oh, there we go. Still got more tricks up my sleeve. Okay, so it is the same guy. I'm just fighting him multiple times. You need a you need a better spell if you're gonna get me. Word wreck. That was a whole lot of lag. Ah, ah. Well, it just goes to show us right to recruit yet yeah, at the start. It's just suddenly gone Scottish when you when you die. Little known fact that's that's generally what happens when you die is you, is you turn Scottish. Not saying that Scottish people are dead. Scottish people, uh, they, they stay Scottish when they die. So now do I finally get to level up? No. Still not. Uh, how big is this windmill? It's gonna be the biggest windmill I've ever seen. There we go. This looks more like something that will level me up. Get rid of the shark. Break it? Oh, it summoned guys. A machine gun sentinel and a, a ring. Uh oh. Ah, what is that thing? A swamp thing. Level 2 perks are now available. We, we, we did it! We leveled up. We're level 2. gonna fall down to the bottom without dying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mines. Blades. Alright, let's get out of here. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Alright, so this has been a Valley Without Wind 2. Uh, it's an interesting game. A good little mix of Kind of civilization style um, game and platformer, old school platformer. It it's not the most amazing game I play, but it's definitely by far from the worst I've ever played. Uh, if if this interests you, definitely give it a try. Uh, it's available on Steam for the prices on screen here, uh, and it has currently has reviews of mixed. So. Thank you very much for watching another Argos episode. I have been Time Traveller and be sure to click like and subscribe if you want to see more. So see you next week for another random game. Bye!